In the late 17th century, under the new reign of Pope Alexander VII, the Vatican Council was struggling to manage the Catholic brand out of the Middle Ages and into the Enlightenment. The highly profitable trading and display of holy relics was a cause for concern, and the most troubling of these was the holy prepuce, the circumcised foreskin of Jesus Christ, which was reputed to have magic powers. This is a call between a senior Vatican Council secretary and the Bishop of Antwerp, who owned the Holy Foreskin. Hey, Bish baby, long time no see. How you doing? How are those altar boys treating you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's the honeymoon phase. He's still trying on all the hats, touching all the frescoes. You know, he he had me check if he could excommunicate a whole country the other day. What? Yeah, yeah. France. <laughs> he thinks they're too much trouble. What? <laughs> of course we're not going to let him do it. Anyway, thanks for calling. Um, yeah, look, it's bad news. <laughs> we're really serious about the holy foreskin. It's got to go. If... If Jesus ascended to heaven, then he would have taken that bit with him. Think about it. Don't start talking Latin, man. The foreskin has got to go. Look, you can keep all of the titty milk of the Virgin Mother, right? No, it is a big difference. It is a big difference. She was mortal. And also, there could be lots of milk, even if it was only a drop collected at every feeding. Well, I don't know what the current line is. I don't know. Joseph collected it from a wet, soiled sack bra or something. Look, it's not important. We'll work it out. But the cock skin of the Christ has got to go. Right. Well, we're prepared to make it up to you. Wow. Maybe a sainthood. Mm. Anything's possible. But it's my holy skin. Just take a second to think about it. If the cock skin is still around... It blows the whole Ascension story wide open. That's weird when you think it's weird. Yes, it is weird when you think about it. Well, you know Jewish mothers. <laughs> right. And then, there's the whole race thing. Yeah. You know, we've put a lot of effort into making him wider than Snow White's tits. And having that bit of foreskin around, and let's be honest, from God knows where those barbarians picked it up. Yeah. What I'm saying is it might prove to be uh, a little less than Aryan. Black man. Yeah? Very white, very white. Well, how big is it? <laughs> You've got it with you? It's on my desk. On your desk? Purple white. You use it as a paperweight? It's a bit small. It's quite small. Well, you know, Bish, there is such a thing as shrinkage. The Vatican is very clear on shrinkage. And what colour is it? The myrrh. It's hard to tell for all the myrrh. Well, that's a blessing, I suppose. Look, it's all moot anyway. It's got to go. What about all the others? What? What others? There's more of them? Ten. Ten? You see, Bish, this is what I'm talking about. You guys in the fields are losing your minds. How could one Christ have left ten foreskins? Vishnu. But he's not Vishnu, is he? We didn't go that route. Even the most downbeaten, brainwashed, half-starved, bog-trotting troglodyte would work that out eventually. Oh, sorry. So who has them? Charlemagne. Gifts from Charlemagne. Well, we're back to the French again, aren't we? Seriously, Bish, how long did you think we were going to get away with this? Forever. Well, they've all got to go. It's really simple. One Christ, white as snow, with one penis that was circumcised, yeah. one holy foreskin yeah. that was saved by Mother Mary under instructions from the angels 
for reasons we'd rather not go into, yeah. but which then evaporated with him from the mortal realm when he ascended to heaven. It's not difficult. No, 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 no. Well, Bish, I think you're making it difficult. Well, where is it then? Now you're just being obtuse. Mr. Cochrane? Of course he's not just sitting around up there with it on a keychain. Interesting. Bish. Interesting. Bish. Interesting. The Sistine? Come on. We're not going to add it to the Sistine Chapel. And that's another thing. The telescopes aren't going to go away, are they? Yeah. They're just going to keep coming. They're going to get bigger. They're going to get better. And we can't just keep burning scientists. Not anymore. Why? It's counterproductive. Aww. We've got to play the long con. Listen, we do have a plan. What is it? I'll tell you what it is. You know Leo in the library? Yeah. Alatius. Leo Alatius. Smart kid. Greek, I think. Ah. Well, he's come up with this thing. It's, it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to kill two birds with one foreskin. Mm -hmm. Get this. When our boy ascended to heaven... The foreskin went and became the rings around Saturn. What? Yeah, you like it? Yeah, maybe. Well, you know, I'm not an astronomer, but it makes sense. And it's a magic foreskin, right? Yeah, it's magic, magic. Of course they'll buy it. There's one born every minute. And trust me, Bish, we're going to get that down to one a second. Yeah. Okay, good talk. Yeah, okay, bye. And Bish... Take it easy on those altar boys. I know. I know. Okay. Ciao.